Oh, that woman! She try the patience of Job, she would. And I'm no Job. That I'm certain of. I just had the pleasure of running into Mrs. Delia Pickle. I mean, literally. I ran into the woman. I nearly knocked her on her fanny, I did. I must have apologized a hundred times, but she just looked at me with that face that's been sucking on sour persimmons all day and said, Wolves an orphan. Doesn't she know it's Christmas Day, for goodness sakes? And that was over 40 years ago. It didn't bother the Mullers that I was poor, unkempt, and Irish. Three things that had not been working in my favor so far. You know, they gave me clean clothes, a soft bed, and three meals a day. And they even taught me how to read and write. But you know, that orphan house was very odd. One morning at breakfast, the Reverend prays. He is always praying. Dear Lord Jesus, I sense ye for the food that thou art about to provide. Is he a brick short alone or something? There is no food. What can God do? Suddenly, you know, there's a knock at the door, and in walks the baker with his arms full of bread. says to me this morning that you managed to feed, clothe, and care for so many orphans without any pleas to the public or help from the government. All I said was, we have a rich father. Speak in a pickle. And I was. We're in a bit of a pickle today. All I've got to feed 300 orphans is this sack of potatoes. The pantry's empty. Now, Lord, huh? unless you want me to be feeding them porridge along with these potatoes, which I'll remind you we had for breakfast, <clears throat> I'm praying along with the rest of the staff here at Ashley Down that you have something better planned. After all, it is your son's birthday we're celebrating today. Thank you.